Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hi, hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How are How's you? It, I'm good. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. Doing great. Can't complain. It's been a crazy busy week of work. I uh, got the uh, got the the son's baptism over the weekend, so we got some people coming over. So I got to get ready for that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I got to put up this, I got this, you can't see it on camera, but I got this huge ass box here. It's like, it's probably like 12 feet long. It's like a 10 by 20 foot tent that I have to put mm -hmm. up. I hope, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a project. We'll see what happens. But yeah, everything is cool, man. Everything is cool. Just working, you know, buying some things here and there and, uh, you know, looking at just the, the world of crazy things that come out on Instagram every day. I mean, once you get like a pretty established uh, group of good toy companies and things like that, that you follow on Instagram, you just have like a mm -hmm. never ending, you know, yeah. st stream of products that you want to get. Like, so for me, I, I just have this, like this mental backlog of things where I'm like, that's awesome. You know, a lot of times they're not out yet. A lot of times they're, you know, things that mm -hmm. aren't going to come out until next year or whatever, but I kind of just make a mental checklist. And then a lot of times when it comes up time to get them, I decide, you know, maybe I don't need them or maybe, you know, I don't want to make room for them in the collection. And then sometimes yeah. I, pull, I pull the trigger, but you know, so that's kind of what it is <laughs> these days. Right. And, and that goes for all things. Right. I mean, it's not just, um, it's not just Funko. Sure. It's just, it goes for, I, I've been looking a lot at the uh, NECA figures recently. Mm -hmm. because they make a lot of figures for some of those quirky old eighties movies that I like, 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 uh, the evil dead and they live and the thing and jaws, like they make the characters from those movies. So I've been mm -hmm. looking at a lot of those recently. Um, so maybe I'll start picking up some of them. I don't know. We'll see. It's always good to branch out. This is going to be a uh, kind of half and half Funko half Pez, but, uh, we'll see. We have a lot of stuff to, to get into, but um, I do want to say hello to the chat room, uh, to Wanda, Wanda Flanagan, who was here very early, and she's first, she says. So, hello, Wanda. JJ, uh, Stephen, Labjar, Wes Cobb, Jeremy Knapp, and yes, Stephen, we know we're live. I was just letting Tim finish his thought before I said hi to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I am well aware we were live because I pushed the button and it said, are you sure? So yeah, uh, we're live. So sorry for the delay in saying hello to everyone, but appreciate everyone coming. Um, yeah, this is kind of a different live stream for me. I just kind of randomly put in a, a big Pez order last week and it showed up yesterday. And Tim happened to place a Pez order and he got his today. So we it was just kind of... Uh, serendipitous that we're both yeah. going to have some stuff to unbox uh, related to Pez. And you got more of these SpongeBob Pez, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, and well, then, more, more than the ones I have tonight, you mean? Or didn't you get some previously? Yeah, I got, so I got four previously and I got uh, two of the commons and then two of like the special ones. So I think like one rare one and one special one. So okay. basically, Basically, like there's a uh, rare one and a special one. And one is like a like a, a yellowish clear, and then the other one is just like a clear, like a white clear. So you didn't get the solid gold rare one. No. So so okay. after I after I found out about that, which I did not know, you know, I I, I first found out about it when I was just shopping on Pez.com and I saw it and I mm -hmm. bought the four and I figured, let me see, right? Right. And then I thought to myself, man, they're probably going to sell like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these. So, you know, to get a thousand piece limited item is probably very slim chance. But hey, what right. the hell? They're like, you know, they're pretty cheap. So why not take a shot at a few? And uh, I'm glad I got the special and the rare one anyway. Yeah. Um, because I always like when they make, because Pez doesn't come out with things like that as often as Funko does. Like they very, right. like this is one of the, like you'll see like Brian Mariotti give away those like specially, you know, Funko Pop Pez that he yeah. has specially made. But, you know, Pez themselves as a company doesn't really, ha has never really gotten into that whole <laughs> chase, chase race slash mystery thing. So it's kind of cool when right. I saw that, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely something a little different from Pez too. So, um, yeah. I wanted to just say more people are coming in. So hello to Josh, Tickles, uh, 
Dustin, and we got the proper popper. Yeah, I was your first YouTuber sticker. So yeah, it's, that's been a while since I sent you that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think that was everyone. So um, yeah, so some of you may be asking what's going on behind me. It looks different. Um, I did some rearranging this last weekend to my uh, room where I have my collection. Um, I've kind of made it into a full-time office before there was a spare bed in here. So um, now it's just kind of a dedicated office area because I found out I'm going to be working from home till at least the end of the year. My company decided to just say we're going till the end of the year. So I have almost another six months of working from home. I decided to just make a dedicated workspace. So this is kind of more of my collection that you don't get to see. It's always outside of frame in my videos. So I have like the spastics are over here on this side of me now. Um, hey, Dave and Alexandra. So that I just wanted to explain of, like why it looks a little different. So, um, but yeah, I've got, I kind of pulled my Pez out of the displays here and off of the shelves where I keep them. Just, I was going to show some stuff off that I, that I collect. And I think you said you did some of that too. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we could do a, like a one for one kind of, kind of deal. Yeah, we might be. We just kind of pull stuff. We'll just pull stuff <laughs> out and just kind of show it off, I guess. Yeah, I got some like real common stuff here. Um, yeah, and I can do a couple items at a time. Some of them are parts of sets, so. Yeah, I got just some stuff I threw in a box. Yeah, like I have the. I'll, I'll start with this kind of uh, set that I got, and they're kind of different Pez, but um, hey, hey, Matt or Chap, sorry, Chap. I know your real name. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I like to add icons and I found these on eBay a couple of years ago. So these are, um, like add icon little, I think they came in boxes of cereal. They did. They did. So yeah. I've got the, the honey nut Cheerios B I've got the tricks rabbit. Um, these are, just, and they're about half the size of a normal Pez dispenser. Um, and they also don't then, open like traditional Pez if you've ever opened them. Yeah, they have a weird slide kind of mechanism. They kind of, they, I think they just pop open on the top, right? Yeah, these. Yeah, there's no spring on these. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, you so have, those are, have, those are old, man. Those are pretty old. Yeah, but I like the ad icon. So um, one thing I have never really done in videos is like show off part of my collection. So I thought it would be. Like pops or anything. I just thought I would show some stuff tonight. But yeah, it's got this. There's no spring in there, so you have to you have to physically push this up to get your candy, and they make you work for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, after eating all that sugary cereal, you gotta you know burn some calories. Yeah, and they're t they are uh, they are tiny. And hey, Ari Funko Fun, if I missed you, I didn't mean to skip you. So, all right. So there's a few for me to start. All right, so I'll do. I'll actually do one that's off topic just to get out of the way because I think it's sure. cool. But um, and and I've actually already shown you these I think in a picture on our Instagram chat. But just for everybody else, I think these are awesome. So does anybody remember what this character is from? Let me make you big here. Oh, I saw that on your Instagram, so I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> so yeah so this is uh let me see in the chat if anybody knows oh, yeah we'll give it a second there's a bit of a delay or anybody cares yeah we're just we're doing whatever tonight you know so his name is dr gangrene and he is from the animated series from um attack of the killer tomatoes yeah chat so this Oh, chap got it. All right, there we yeah. go. We got somebody that recognizes. So, um, you know, this cartoon took place in a little town called Zucchini by the Sea, and it was a, it was about, it was about this crazy scientist who wanted to br bring to life tomatoes and take over the world. Interesting. And this little kid just lived in the town and happened to help thwart him in every episode and then this girl is actually a tomato that was turned into a girl 
by accident. Of course. Mm -hmm. And then and then she left Dr. Gangrene's evil lab for the good side. So then she left. <laughs> so, so then she was a tomato for the rest of the series and they were fighting against Dr. Gangrene. So I thought these were awesome because they're just so random and I haven't thought about that show in a really long time. And I remember watching it all the time. So I picked I them up remember. for, yeah, dude, it, it didn't run very, I don't, I mean, it might've been on maybe one or two seasons, maybe. Okay. And it was based off of um, a movie that came out, I believe in the seventies by the same name, attack mm -hmm. of the killer tomatoes. And it was just an extremely horrible B horror movie. I but tried then, watching it recently and it's not, it's bad. so did I. I tried to watch it just the other <laughs> I day. And I, 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 I was like five minutes in. I was like, I can't take this anymore. Yeah. But but the cartoon was at was awesome, dude. I, I think right. I, you know, I think people would enjoy it if they checked it out. It's on YouTube, full episodes. Oh, check that out. That yeah. is random. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So then uh, in keeping with those small ones, I have I have a tiny alien from Toy Story. It's kind of a short one. But I like, I I like him. It was in the multi pack, and then you may recognize this one. Uh, oh yeah, oh, you yeah. sent me this one. The Wawa, the Wawa Christmas Wawa, truck, the Wawa yeah. Christmas truck Pez dispenser, which I didn't even know was a thing until I got it from you. So thanks for that. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. <laughs> and then just real quick, I'll, these are just some more like really common ones I found. I found these I think on Mercari last year but you know in keeping with the theme of toy story i've got just a woody a buzz and a rex so yeah i like that. I, I like the i like them a lot i don't have yeah them. yeah and um so that's kind of the few to start with um and then i'll just show this real quick because there's a lot on here pez actually sells what do they call it like rail or track or something that you can you can yeah display yeah. your pez in and I have a I have a full track here, so I thought I would show it real quick. Uh, I've got some Creole crayons, which was a kind of a strange thing, but uh, I've got <laughs> Mario, Peach, Yoshi, and Luigi, and then there was a Mickey and Minnie and Ninety Years uh, set that came out. So there's another Buzz, but he has a white stem. And then this one, no, this one here, that's the Pez mascot. It's just a, a happy piece of Pez. Yeah, Does I saw that. That's, that's kind of new. No, I mean, I, I wasn't even aware. That that was, uh, I think, a new release recently. So Yeah, it's a, I think last year, I think it was one I got from the website. So um, yeah. living in the desert, I got cactus because these were like special edition ones. So there's a couple of different cactus uh, another Pez mascot, and then these are some favorites of mine recently that I acquired the three different colored jack-in-the-box ones Those are, I think were from the 90s or early 2000s. So yeah, yeah, those are definitely older Old so I got those out recently. I put one of them up on the shelf to, to display next to my uh, Jack-in-the-box pop that came out for SDCC um, I just wanted to point out in the chat linda said she has about 1500 pez dispensers that's kind of amazing wow wow that's more than me for sure that's I, nowhere yeah. near what i have <laughs> that's definitely way more than i have but um yeah yeah i mean you know i was thinking about it earlier if i had if i had a million dollars right you know, i i would you know i would definitely have like an awesome collection room where it would be like four quadrants and it would just be like <laughs> ac action figures in this corner, like Pez in this corner. I don't know, maybe old eighties movies, like props and replicas in one corner. I don't know, but it would be amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, I always think like what my setup would look like if I had like limitless space yeah. and money, I think right. it'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd, it'd be excessive if I had a, <laughs> unlimited resources. right 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 it would just be a little bit excessive but hey uh santa decided to join us you see him it's right there i saw when you bent down i saw a creepy santa lurking back there waiting to murder everyone um <laughs> i love that you still have that out and you're probably just going to keep it out for the rest of the year i'm guessing 
<laughs> Dude, that thing that thing's been sitting in that chair for like the last nine months, just sitting there. Like my father in law brought it over one day. Right. And uh, I don't know. I didn't have anywhere to put that thing. I mean, we couldn't keep it outside, so just hey, threw it um, in the chair. Hey Michael David. Yeah, that's so that's where he lives now. Uh did we get the new McDonald's pops? <laughs> I got no come back. I don't want to look at Santa. Um yes, I ordered them they were readily available everywhere i've gotten three of them i'm i'm expecting the other two to show up tomorrow so hey auntie audi i did not get the uh, mcdonald's pops i was only interested in the five pack if in I the five pack but. i figured you know I, I figured i might as well just get them i'm probably knowing my luck not going to get the five pack um and i'm not going to yeah. buy it you know, aftermarket prices. So it's the same yeah, thing. It's just right. the packaging. It's a sticker. Basically, you're paying for a sticker. So. so I never even saw it when it was available. How much were they charging for it? Uh, 50? 60? I think it was I think it was 50 plus shipping. That's that's awesome. If you can get it yeah. for 50. Wow. Yeah. But if you look at like eBay prices and stuff right now, it's kind of insane. Um, so. so. So, hey, I got your buddies here. Oh, yeah. They're there. Cactus. I really like these ones. They're cool. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. And I, I have a couple uh, in this box of stuff I'm opening. I have a couple of the newer, the new limited edition ones. So there's yeah, Iron Giant. The uh, Iron Giant, which was a new uh, Funko Pop Pez they just came out with. He's got a mm -hmm. dent in his head? Yeah. Is, is Okay. Is, is that like from the movie or do yes. I have a fault? Okay. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? I know it's an older movie. but I have, but not for a really long time. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's part of the plot. Like he kind of doesn't know who he is. He kind of wakes up and doesn't know what like his purpose is. Or and then later on, the you know the dent disappears. It gets knocked out of his head, and he kind of goes back to normal, like as this destroyer, killer robot. But um, yeah, it's part of the it's it's kind of pertinent to the plot. I'm not going to say spoiler. That movie's like 20 years old now. So. <laughs> but that's a good that's a good detail though it's a good detail yeah it's put on there. yeah I, I really like that movie i've seen it multiple times so it's very it's sad at the end right uh kind of i mean i don't know you'd have to see it it, it kind of leaves it open-ended but um i won't say much more than that <laughs> <laughs> it is it's it's kind of i was like oh i'm not gonna cry at this movie at the end Mm -hmm. It is very emotional. Oh, is Dave uh, still? Is Dave uh, Soften still in the chat? I think he said he was. Uh, he said he was driving. I think so. Let's make I, it big. I, I picked this up for Dave because I thought that it would be a good pop to uh, clown, clown, clown and eyes. I don't know how, what he calls his process, but clown, clown eyes. <laughs> oh, Dave's yeah. here. He just did yes. Yeah, because it doesn't have any hair or anything. It's like a blank slate, so you can really uh, have a good time with that one. Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to send it your way, Dave. Steven, it's kind of like the end of Terminator 2, except uh, it doesn't involve liquid metal or being melted down. So He was asking if the end of the Iron Giant was like the end of Terminator 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so see you later, proper popper. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, real quick, we've got another random one. I like these these kind of these gift sets that come out at Christmas time mm -hmm. in the tube. So here's a random gingerbread one, and it comes in a little kind of made to be stocking stuffers. And these are different because they have the sugar cookie flavored uh, Pez, which I've tried, and they're not too bad. Make yourself, you big, make yourself big, Curtis. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Have you have you tried the the sugar cookie flavor? No, yes. but I got I got it. Remember, I got it last year in the uh, the Christmas whatever that was called gift set with the ornaments. Oh yeah. But I don't yeah. think I ever ate it. I don't think I ever ate I, it. I gave it to my. I wife. tried it. it. It's a it's a strange flavor. I don't know that I would necessarily <laughs> say it. It tastes sweet. It just kind of tastes like a sweet vanilla. So, tastes uh, like probably... chemicals in Christmas. Tastes like memories. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, hey TRG, what's up? 
How's it going? My chat is lagging tonight, so apologies if I miss anyone. We're just kind of showing off different PEZs that we have. I was showing off this PEZ rail system, which I really, it, it has double-sided tape on the bottom, but I, uh, uh, I really yeah. have no place to put this right now. It doesn't really fit on any of my shelves. Yeah, I'll be um, honest with you. Uh, maybe a window sill might work. Yeah, well, I've always got the windows closed and the, the yeah. I have blackout curtains in this room and I would never see them. They would just be exposed to the sun and get ruined probably if I did that. Uh, hey, quick draw. Who's Greg? Is that my new name? My new nickname is it's gone from Craig to Greg, I guess. Greg. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alexander says put it on my head. Uh, no, I won't be putting that on my head. So Oh, and then another quick one I'll show. Uh, this came out. It is limited to. Yeah, they've been getting more into the limited edition stuff. Limited to 2020 for 2020. This came out at the beginning of the year. Was not a lucky year, 2020. I'll tell you that. So the lucky ladybug failed. Yeah, yeah I don't I know. Got, that was that must those. be a, must be a ladybug from China. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. <laughs> But yeah, so I got one of these. I saw they had released like a mystery flavor, which I missed out on that one. Um, yeah, I, was didn't, the I didn't even see that that ladybug. That's pretty cool, though. 2020 pieces. That's pretty pretty cool. I think I saw it on Twitter. They posted that they were available, and I managed to get one before they sold out. So I'm not um, I'm not on Twitter, so that explains it. Ah, uh, would I like some more Pez? If you're looking to get rid of them. I don't know where I'll put them, but <laughs> <laughs> we might have to talk. <laughs> and Cr yeah. oh, hey, Kramit, Kramit, Kramit is suffering the heat with me too. So um, he's in um, uh, he's in a nearby town. And I won't say exactly where he is, but uh, I don't know that those would fit on the top of a doorway. I don't. I don't have. I have about this much clearance on top of the doorway over there. So um, and hey, quick draw. I don't know if I said hi to you. But uh, welcome. So glad to see some people are showing up. Yeah. So Curtis, I got these. I got these uh, pulled out because I uh, I was I thought about you the other day. I don't know why. I think I just got one of your autoplay videos of when you were doing one of these challenges where you're talking about your favorite pops or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. The faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of them was uh, what the flock Bigfoot, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I pulled these out because I thought that these were really cool. I was glad that they finally made these into Pez. <laughs> I'm doing some digging here because so, I also have those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are great, man. I love these. Yeah. I, 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 I really like the pop head sculpt, and I think yeah. it looks great on the Pez as well. I keep them up on the shelf with the other uh, the Bigfoot pops that I have. They kind of on display in between the others. Um, the, I got these on Amazon. I think they were like six bucks or something like yeah. that. The, yeah. The Pop Funko shop was selling them for 11 a piece. And I was like, no, that's like they're half price at Amazon. And then I saw on the Pez website, you know, that they were retired. So if anyone wants those, I would grab them up before it's too late because Pez isn't making them anymore. Oh, I didn't realize um, that. Yeah, I saw on the on the website like the last time I checked a couple months ago, they they were retired. Um, and then you know I like to add icons, so I got this recently. I could not find this for sale anywhere. But oh, that's awesome! Smoky Bear Pez. I gotta get that. I also saw on the website that this one's retired, so I had to resort to eBay for this one. Uh, Too bad they I got didn't flock that one. Yeah, this would have. I haven't seen any. Do they make flocked Pez? There's one, there's one that I know of, and there might be more, but there's one that I can't get, and it's the um, the flocked moss man from from He Man. Oh, as a so they, yeah, so they made cool. they made a, a flocked version of that. And I, I have a hard time finding it anywhere. Hmm. Oh, Linda was asking, so. do I like set any sets more than others? Um, well, I like. Mickey Mouse and Nintendo. I'm just looking at the ones I have. I'll, Toy I have Story, a lot. right? Toy Story. You'll see. I mean, I, I was going to show off the rest of my 
stuff here real quick before we get into these boxes, but you did mention Toy Story. I like the seasonal, the holiday ones. I, I have some Halloween ones here I was going to show off. Um, but let me just minimize that. I'll make myself big real quick, but you guys might remember this. I don't remember how long ago this was. I think it was at the beginning of the year, but I got these. They were limited to 1,500 sets. Yeah, those so are there's cool. there's Chuckles and then uh, Watso. And I had pre-ordered these on Amazon, and the orders never happened because they ended up going up on the on the pop-up shop, and they sold out pretty quickly. I think they were released the same day with like some Hanna Barbera Pez dispensers, if I recall. And the the Toy Story ones went first, and then I think those Hanna Barbera ones might even still be available right now on the pop-up shop. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. So, Linda, you'll see. I mean, when I show stuff off, you, you kind of get a sense of what I like. I'm not really into Star Wars, or I'm not. I don't collect a lot of the He-Man stuff like um, Tim was talking about. But um, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> this was another one see? of my. This was another one of my favorite recent ones here. The, the Ch Chithulu. Oh, Cthulhu. Yeah. Pop Pez. Yeah. Just the box is awesome. Really cool. I like yeah. the like the font. It looks really spooky looking. Those are cool. Do you have any of the giant Pez dispensers? I've seen those, but I've never seen them in person. I do. Um, actually, I have not one over. I have one over here. Hold on a second. Okay, I was gonna say not that you have to go get it, but <laughs> if no, you no, want no. To, I, you know, I fine. actually have one. I actually have one out. So. Oh, cool. Uh. Yes, I am almost to a thousand. I've been kind of hovering in the nine fifties for a couple months now, but yeah, I'm getting there. I haven't been putting out, out enough content really. Oh, that's the that's a Robbie the robot, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So it does it it does make noise, but I, I don't know if it still works. Let me see. <laughs> that's awesome. And then he's got like, they, a little white in the head too. Do they make a giant Pez to fit in those things? No, so it takes it, it takes full <laughs> full full packs actually. Oh, okay. So, so it dispenses full packs. So when you buy them, when you buy them, it gives you a, a twelve full packs to put in. Gotcha. So it, it's, I, I always thought it was, I always thought it was a cool thing. Like I remember when I was growing up, one of my, my mom's friends, my godparent, one of my godparents, their house, it was so cool. They had like a, ju a working jukebox. They had like a working pinball machine. Wow. And I don't know why. I just always thought it would be cool. Like people come in the house and they just like, what, is, what the hell is this? They open it up and they get a whole unopened pack of Pez, right? There you go. It's like very Willy Wonka ish. You know, it, yeah, that is very, very good. <laughs> um, yes, Kramit, I know content helps. <laughs> Thank you very much for that reminder. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, Linda asked if I had any Pez lunch pails with the thermos. I, I don't, Tim. Do you have any of those? I do not. No, I don't. I didn't know that was a thing. So we're we're getting our education on Pez tonight. It seems like we have someone in the chat that can teach us a thing or two. Yeah, no, I mean that's always good. I like that. It's good to see other collectors out there. Yeah, definitely. And that's why I kinda wanted to do this because I don't just do Funko Pops. I like to get into other stuff too. I've done some super plastic on my channel. But I've been I've kind of been collecting more Pez over the last couple of years and it's it's just I thought it was time to do something with Pez, and I thought this was a good opportunity to do it. So, um, yeah, I agree. Story. I agree. I, Pez, you know, Pez has been around a long time. For There's sure, a really, really healthy collector community for it. Um, yeah, but I just grabbed this guy. This is adding to my good. designer con mask. Oh yeah, guy. what's his so name? This, uh, Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this cool. is the this is the Vincent fig pin. This is uh, one of five hundred limited. Very cool. So this is actually from Decon. 
Um, the difference between this and the common one is there's like a little bit of glitter in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can see that, yeah. But uh, I like that character. Yeah, I do too. I don't. It's like my fourth one now that I have, and um, I'm kind of just putting together like a little Vincent display. Nice. Yeah. Um. Hey Jay, hello. Welcome, Jay. I'm from Unboxing Treasures. Uh, I'm just kind of gonna grab a few more out of here. Um, these I got with. They came with a uh, correlating T-shirts. The mm -hmm. Quis Quispin Quake. So these they're, were weird because cool. this said this had a number on it, thirty-five hundred, and this just says limited. So I don't know if they were both limited edition. Or it's just they have different stickers on them. So yeah, you um, know, it was strange because I remember when those first came out, Curtis. Uh, Top mm -hmm. Pops opened them, and he actually had he had the wrong. He had a I think a Quake uh, Pez dispenser inside a Quisp box. That's strange. So, so I don't think it was their cleanest run for Funko. So that might explain mm -hmm. why you know the stickers were a little bit different or. Yeah. You know, certain things got screwed up. That might have been their first Pez like package deal, right? Like pop, like put like a like a t shirt and and product. Yeah, I think Pez. so. Yeah. Hey, Justin and Alexandra says she wants the Stitch Pop Pez. I don't have the Stitch Pop Pez. Um, I also do not have that. Um, I don't collect Disney actively, so. Right. It's just not not something I would go after. Um, when Popez first came out, I thought that the partnership with Funko was going to be on a limited basis only. I thought they were only going to collab for a year, maybe two. But now I'm realizing that the Funko Popez are probably going to go the way of the Funko Pop in terms of production. I, so I'm I mean, if, to, I think I, I don't. I haven't seen a lot of new Pez announced. Pop Pez, I don't know, or maybe I just haven't been paying attention. But have you, do you remember anything recently that they've been talking about? As far as no, Pop I mean Pez? they're they're definitely releasing more. I mean mm -hmm. I've seen more coming out. They, I just haven't seen them really advertised as much. I think the focus has kind of shifted to the sodas now a lot, and and yeah, you know what I mean. That's kind of like yeah, the, I've got the the sodas over there behind me. Um, I, I really like those sodas, uh, the cereal mascots especially. So uh, you may recognize these, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You yep, sent these to right. me uh, a while ago. I don't even probably even more than a year now, but um, yep. I've, I've that, had those. That was one of the. I think that would might have been the first trade we ever did, right? Yeah, yeah. You threw some extra, some bonus stuff in there. I don't remember exactly what we. I the do specifics because I, of that. We, I do because cool. I watched a video the other day. It was uh, oh. <laughs> it was Captain Crunch. It was the Captain Crunch Target exclusive. And then I just uh, threw in a couple things for you. That's right. It was this one, right? The no, uh, I think it was just the common. I don't think it was the chase. Okay. Because at the time, the common was harder oh, to find. Now so, it's easier to find. Easier to find. So, yeah, here's the common one. Right, mm -hmm. and then there was a blue stem version, and that right. was was this the tar the target exclusive? No, so so the white this stem one. is the target, and then the blue stem is the common, and then the black stem is the chase of the common. But there was right. there was also a chase of the target exclusive. These two, correct. So the one on the left is the chase for the target exclusive. So. To me, I yeah. yeah, I feel like that one is probably a bit more valuable than the one on the right, yeah. um, because you know when you look at things like uh, Ang on Air Scooter is a really good example. When you have a store exclusive, plus you have a Chase variant, plus you have Glow in the Dark, right? You're kind of, you're kind of hitting the triple whammy there, and that's kind of the situation. <laughs> Kind of the situation with that with that one Captain Mer uh, Captain Crunch Pez is that it was a Target exclusive and it and it had a chase. So I yeah. remember going to a bunch of Targets when it first came out. People could not get enough of that. Could not get enough of that dispenser, man. It was so hard for me to find at first, and then a few weeks later, I was able to find a bunch. So 
Yeah, and I like that because I think I got this one on eBay or something for a decent price. I, this is when I, I didn't realize that they made protectors for uh, pop Pez. Yeah. Too. Yeah, so awesome. this is the only Pez pop Pez protector that I have, and I've just left it in there. And then the last two Captain Crunch ones I have real quick are the Jean Lafoot and the Crunch Berry Beast. Mm -hmm. So I think I have all of those from the Captain Crunch. Um, uh, so someone was saying there was a sale at GameStop. 97 cent, I guess, Pez. Is that Pop Pez? No, I haven't, I haven't been to GameStop in a long time. So I haven't been anywhere in a long time. <laughs> Uh, so no, I missed yeah. out on that. If there was a sale, she's I got seven pot. Wow, okay, that's a good deal. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, you could get really good deals for Popes on um, Mercari. Mm -hmm. People selling lots and things like that. I, I sold a bunch for pretty cheap when I first started buying them. I have like, I want to say I have like a hundred and forty Popes. Oh wow, that's a lot. Like, 140 different or maybe maybe 100 different characters or something like that do you still have your youtube content out i i don't know you said you were going to keep it out for up and available for a couple of weeks did you yeah are, is, yeah okay. yeah i i it's still up there i haven't i haven't done anything okay. to it so people so can tim watch does, it tim does have a video that he shows off basically everything in his pez collection i think it was about a 45 minute video if i recall <laughs> yeah yeah, it was uh, long. but it was interesting. I, I watched the whole thing. I, I just I really enjoyed seeing all the different stuff that you had. There was a lot of stuff I didn't know existed, which mm -hmm. may have prompted me to start like I you know I need to get more Pez. So because that was a while ago. But um, anyway, was there anything else you wanted to show off, or do you want to open some stuff, open those boxes, and see if we got any of the rare stuff? Well, I was I was gonna say I'll show you know that was a good segue because I'll show off just before we go into the boxes. I'll just show off a few of the. The vintage pieces that I have. Sure, I'll make for you. Pez. I'll feature you there on screen. Yeah. Go for it. I'll go through them kind of quickly. So Pez came out with shooters in the seventies and eighties. So these oh, wow. Pez, these Pez actually have clips in them um, that pop out like so. <laughs> wow. And then the interior so, of the clip works exactly like a Pez dispenser would. So it's basically like the base of a Pez dispenser is the clip. It has the spring mm -hmm. in there for the candy. And then you slide it back in and it functions. It functions and it shoots. So you can see the square hole there. That seems dangerous, like shooting a Pez into your mouth or does it add someone else? Does it? Have you ever tried that out? <laughs> yeah, it actually does shoot with a, with a good amount of force. You could definitely <laughs> take, you could definitely, you know, poke somebody in the eye with it. And this is like a space gun version that they uh -huh. came out with. Um, this was kind of this this was released around the same time as Star Wars because everything okay. was like really you know space centric at the time. Yeah. Um, and then this one actually the original one. This is kind of cool. Pez history. The mm -hmm. original. one of this shooter was brown and it and it had a black handle and or it, it was Jeez. black and had a brown handle so it looked exactly like <laughs> an actual gun. <laughs> so they pulled it they pulled it off the shelves almost immediately so Jeez. that that one actually does exist i've seen ones that are in really great five star condition that came with the collector's case that the brown shooter came with originally oh wow mm -hmm. with all the inserts and it's like three fifty, four hundred bucks or something like that. Wow. That's and then uh, I'll just run through a couple of my favorite, my favorite Pez dispensers that I, in my collection. Sure. These are, and it's only like five or six, and a couple of them are part of a set, so it'll be pretty quick. But these are the, <laughs> and I've shown these before. Some this might be repetitive for some people. These are the rubber head DC superheroes from 1978 oh wow so none of these pez dispensers have feet as you can see these feet are made were made to put on non-footed pez dispensers hmm. um what's different about these pez dispensers particularly is that the heads are made of rubber mm -hmm. which was which was something that they 
had never done before prior to this, except for, I think, on a one Mickey Mouse mold. Mm -hmm. um, and so each one of these Pez dispensers is valued at one, between $150 and $200. Holy crap. <laughs> Wow, that's great. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah, the, and there's, you know, there's five of them in the set, so you can imagine how much, it, you know, how much it cost me to get them. It took me mm -hmm. quite some time. This is a cool one. This is called, uh, they did this model a couple times called the die cast model, where they mm -hmm. would actually, they would actually etch photo oh, into wow. the outer layer of the, the sheath there, mm -hmm. and then the inner the inner neck piece is actually red, which creates the background color. I see. Okay, so it's like cut out like a stencil kind of. Right. So if I so if I pull the head out, it'll be clear. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But this Bozo the Clown, if this was in if this was in good condition, which it's not, I bought it yeah. purposely in this condition because it was in a price range I could afford at the time when this was when I was younger I got this. Mm -hmm. Um I think this is in the two hundred dollar range. Wow! But really cool, just a very unique piece, very dated. You know, Bozo the Clown is 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 a character that you can always point to at a very specific time, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of cool. It's not so it's not a character you'll see made again, probably. Yeah, probably not. And then you'll probably recognize this one. I only got two more here, and we'll get into the mystery sure. box. But you probably you probably recognize this one. Uh huh. This was, yeah obviously one that they've been focusing on with Funko when they yeah. first started with the Pez Pals, but this is an original Funko policeman. And uh, I also believe he's from the seventies. Okay. And you know, the serial numbers that appear here, you can see all this writing here. It's a U.S. patent number. The patent mm -hmm. number is what distinguishes where the Pez dispenser is made. So originally mm -hmm. they were made in Austria, and then they moved their production to Orange, Connecticut. Um, and so depending on what you know, you'll see on older dispensers, like this one, for example, it wasn't produced in, in mm -hmm. Orange, Connecticut. So pretty cool. No feet. Yeah. Uh, this one. This one's valued at probably about I think between fifty and seventy-five bucks. Policeman. Cool. Um, and then I got two more, and then we'll do the big uh, mystery box reveal. So. Sure. Got Popeye here. This is one of the first licensed characters that Pez made. Oh, awesome. And he, yeah, he's pretty old, and he is, uh, I think, valued around I want to say a hundred bucks right now. Jeez. Oh, and then, and then this guy is one of my all-time favorite Pez. This is the creature from Black Lagoon. Oh wow! And he's got no feet there, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Comes with comes with a little monster sticker there, and he is in the. I want to say he's in the two hundred dollar range. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So those are my those are my uh, you know my my premium pieces, my premium Pez pieces. <laughs> well, I. <laughs> I have a kind of a collection here real quick. I just, these are ones I got last year, but I like these ones that have the glow in the dark stems. They're just, these are kind of fun to put out. Oh yeah. Yeah. At I like them too. Time. Um, I think this one, I don't know if that one has a glow stem. I think it does. Maybe. I don't know. I can't really tell by the color, but yeah, I've just got random Halloween heads here. I know this, I think this ghost's head glows. Yep. So yeah, just I like a few that. random I like that whole series. Just a few random things. I think this is when I started kind of buying more of them last year. Uh, and then I've got a a mummy. None, it doesn't glow or anything, but yeah. So it's uh, almost time to put put those out again for the year. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Yeah, I was gonna say. Linda Knowles asked if uh, we like the feet and if they're snug. So I think she means the feet on the Pez dispensers that have no feet. Um, I like them. Some are, some aren't, some fit really well, um, and work really well. And then others, um, I've found aren't as high quality and it's hit or miss because the way that I bought them for my older vintage Pez, sometimes when you spend a little bit more money on the Pez, it may come with it. But if it doesn't, you can buy a bunch of Pez feet for older vintage non-footed Pez on eBay or any of these sites. Usually people sell them in groups like five or six. So I think I bought a couple like six and 10 packaged uh, 
groupings or whatever there and um some fit some didn't but uh huh. this you ever see this one curtis uh let me make you big again is that an eyeball and a hand yeah so it, no this that's is a, really cool though this is a reproduction of the ones you see here in the corner mm -hmm. it, they came out in the 60s as you could probably tell mm-hmm and they re reproduced them as a special, I think, mail away order in early 90s. And I mailed away for it. And for the first time, what reminded me about this is when I was pulling this out of my back room, I had the lights off. And this is this right here is a moment, which is why collecting is so great, because I had the lights off and I was pulling this out and I had no idea that this was glow in the dark. I've had this <laughs> Pez dispenser for over 20 years and oh, wow. I had no clue that the eyeball <laughs> glows in the dark. Yeah. Wow. That's a long time to have that and not realize. Yeah, it really is. Man. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> That's an awesome thing to kind of uh, it was cool. run into. It uh, Ari's Funko Fun. You're trading your spastic pops. Yeah, I like the I like the spastic line. You can see um, everything's different now. But uh, yeah, I have a whole shelf of them behind me here. I'm kind of sitting in front of them all tonight. But yeah, that's uh, that's too bad. You're trading them. You're getting out of the spastic line. You know, you know our tastes change a lot. So, <laughs> hey, Zach, <laughs> Zach, uh, put an emoji of your Pez dispenser, or just the eyeball. Um. <laughs> nice. nice. All right. Eyeball, eyeballs in the chat. Yeah. So, you have? Did you just get the SpongeBob ones in this order? Yes, I believe that's okay. all I got. So I got right some here. random random stuff here. So why don't you go through why don't you go through like what whatever else you got? Yeah, I don't know if they're if I'm gonna be able to see the SpongeBob, but I'll try my best to avoid those. Um I got fifteen of the SpongeBobs just to see what I would get. So they put they put I, mine they put mine loose in there, so be careful. You know, we're probably gonna. I'll probably see some of what I got in there, but um, let me just open it because I have a few, quite a few things in here. There's the packing list. Yeah, they just. I think they threw all the SpongeBob stuff on top. So, um, I got this, which. I didn't have yet. I've got the the shared exclusive of this one, but this is just mm -hmm. the common mimic the monkey, which was on mm -hmm. sale. I think it was nine dollars and eighty eight cents or something like that. So I don't think the pops for Pez have been selling very well. So uh, Funko marked them or Pez marked them down. I know the redhead one that was exclusive to their store. I think that one sold out pretty quickly. Hey Will, welcome. Good to see you. Um, yeah, it did. Actually, I wouldn't have gotten that red-headed one if it wasn't for you. So you. Oh, yeah, because I told you. I'm like, hey, it's up for sale. Um, this is kind of the main thing. I, the, the reason I got the order is I like ball caps, and I like this color, and I just thought this is a really cool ball cap. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it's got, I didn't even see the back. It's got the that embroidered oh. on the back. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So that's really cool. And once it cools down enough in Arizona where I can work, feel comfortable wearing a ball cap, I might put this on. I might actually wear it. Uh, <laughs> um, put it on inside, now. Put it on now. Yeah, I like the Let's stitching see. and this the in stuff on the inside. Yeah, I'll throw it on right now. But it's, yeah, like I said, it's super hot in this room. And I've got a fan blowing on me. If anybody hears a strange noise. Well, you don't have it's, to keep it on if you don't want to get it all sweaty. Yeah, that actually fits really well. Yeah, it looks good, man. Looks real good. Thanks. All right. All right. Well, I'm already sweating from that. So. <laughs> Pez fam. Pez fam. <laughs> Don't mess up the hair. Thanks, Will. <laughs> I'll mess up my hair. I don't care. <laughs> so what else did I get in here? It's not fun. I don't know. Why don't I look packing words and see? So I got the Mimic the Monkey. Oh, I got okay. That's right. Some random things in here. 
Oh, this, these are wrapped up, so I know those aren't stone bug. Because those are wrapped in paper. And then we'll just have to get to the rest of these. These are their newest limited edition, and I think Alexander Perez might like these. They're pandas. Oh, nice. So there's one with the crown and one without. Yeah, I like the I like them. I like the one with the crown. Yeah, and these aren't numbered like limited, you know, to a certain number. But I mean, like we were talking about before we started, everything is limited edition technically. We only make so many of everything. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Never ending not, pandas. Yeah, yeah. It's it doesn't say on here um, that it's limited to any specific number. So I got to do a couple of those on the order. And then this one, yeah, um, I showed on the ra the rail earlier the uh, mascots, these guys, the yellow and the pink one. Um, so I decided to get their newest one, which is the orange one. <laughs> and of course, it comes with all orange Pez. So. So you know what's kind of weird is that you know they they themselves are Pez candy and they're shooting Pez candy out of their midsection. So are they are we just kind of like <laughs> right. cannibalizing these poor Pez candies? I mean, it's like eating... a it, it, it's like a bacon company that's mascot is a pig, you know? Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm delicious. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Me, Take mine. a bite out of my shoulder. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i think oh no there is one more in here uh, a few more things in here but everything's in just a sleeve and i'm seeing spongebob so uh we'll just kind of run into those as as we go they'll be kind of sprinkled in okay. um so that means i have about 20 pez dispensers in this box uh 15 of them being spongebob so uh yeah that is an alexandra P panda pez Hip Hop Harbor, I did not see. <laughs> well, I got I, I got my box ready, Curtis. So if you if, yep. if you want to just pull them out, sir, sure. I'll just one at a, one, yeah, one at a time or whatever. Um, and I they may not be SpongeBob because I did order some other things, but here's the first one, and I believe this is the common one. It's the blue one. Right. Uh, with the bubbles on the stem there. Yep. So that is the better common one. All right. I'll pull out my first one here. Hello, Sin. All right. And we got one of the, I, I don't know if it's special or rare, but we got like the yellow see through green stem one. I yeah, think it's I, special. <laughs> It's just special. Like, just like me. Just like just me. Just like yeah. me. I'm looking up the picture. Uh, yeah, that's the special one. The rare one is like a crystal, crystal one, and then the yeah, ultra like rare clear. is gold. So. Yeah, the ultra uh, rare is the stem is gold and the and the head is gold. Right. I didn't see you sneak in here, Ness. Hello. All right, let's see. Hey, what else all right, so I got, I think that was the one you just pulled. This one, the see-through one? Yes. The, kind of the crystal yellow one? Yeah, I actually like it a lot. Yeah. So there's the next one. All right, here's my next one, pulling it out. Oh, and it's oh, the crystal the, one. That's the crystal one. I'll make you big. It's like sparkly crystals. It's pretty cool. Wow. Maybe I'll run into, maybe I'll get one of those too. Uh, we'll see. I'm just going to kind of pull these out here. So, another common one. Yep. <laughs> to be expected. All right, I'll pull out another one here. Common. Common one. Bubbles right. on his trousers. This is the strangest mystery box I've done. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, not a sponge, this is not a SpongeBob one, but this is one they just released. 
now make myself big. Uh, if I can turn it so you can see it. Well, you're just you're gonna be able to tell who that is. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Some venom. Um, this is what prompted me to go to the website. They sent an email blast out saying, "Hey, we've got venom now." So I went to check it out, and uh, that's one of the new ones. So unlike the pot pez, these are what two bucks a piece. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. pretty cheap. So, and and also sometimes like, sometimes people prefer like a more accurate rendition of the character as opposed to the pop treatment. Yeah, definitely. You know. Yeah. All right, All I'll right. pull out my I'll pull out my next one here. Unless you want to pull out another one, see if it's a SpongeBob. Uh, go ahead. I'll do a couple on the next one. All right, here's the next one. I got another another clear one. Okay. Or another so yellow crystal one. The special one. They usually in 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 Pez they usually call the clear clear tops crystal. Okay. So a lot of times when you see the clear tops on sets, they'll call them crystal this or crystal that. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna try to dig out my I have a bunch of Christmas pez and they ha I have like a crystal reindeer and like a crystal Santa and right right and then that twelve days of Christmas pez set that I got last year too the little shorter ones that are ornaments mm -hmm. yep those all have snow globes at the top uh, here's another common SpongeBob. All right, so what you got? What three commons already? Three commons and a special. Yeah. All right, so here comes know? the gold. Here comes the gold one right now. Here we go. The gold one. You got it. I'm not looking yet. I'm not looking. What do we got? Gold, baby. Common. Common. Common gold. Oh, well. All right, so I've pulled one, two, three, four. I've pulled five, so I have seven left. Um, I've pulled. Four, so I have uh, eleven left. So I'll do what? Four, four more. So will that catch yeah, us up? Yeah. Um, here's another venom. So you've seen that. I I ordered a few venoms. How many people are in the chat right now? Uh, twenty. Twenty. All right. Yeah. Here's another special one. Yep. So there's one. Here's another special. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. All right, so you're three. So you have three specials and three commons. I have three specials. Yeah, three specials and three commons. That is correct. You want to go again? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Alexandra's crossing her fingers. Oh, well, you'll you'll know it. It's because the stem is gold too. So special. So I have special. uh. I've gotten four specials and two commons. That means the last couple are probably commons for me. It doesn't make them very special for so many of them. Well, you know, just the fact that they call them special makes me feel special. So, See, look, I got another special one. Yeah, I think they're special, meaning they made ten less than the common. <laughs> probably. But, you know, what? The, how much were these a piece like? Did we talk about that? Yeah, yeah. I just like that there's four different ones you can get. I mean, it's a good variety. There's a little mystery sprinkled yeah. in. You know, get some it's, candy out of it. It's get like, some candy. It's pretty cheap, you know. I'm trying to think how many times I've been at the grocery store and like bought a few scratch tickets. It's the same price. At least I have something yeah. to show for it when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one up. As I suspected, common, uh, common, common, common jabroni. Common Bob. <laughs> yes, David, you are special. And yeah, JJ, they're special, so they made more of them. Yeah. All right. All right. I think I have three left. So what do I have? Five, seven, five I've got left. more than that in the box, so I'll pull a few. So uh, we have another common one. I can't remember if I ordered 10 or 12. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, so this is one of the random ones I, I bought. Uh, yes, Stephen Carey, I did. I was able to buy my Tony the Tiger Pot because I won $200 in scratch cards. So 
Uh, good. Oh, that's not the person I wanted to make big. Sorry. Here's one I bought. It's a glittery poop emoji. <laughs> 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 I just thought that was the random, the most random thing. So weird, right? I know. Yeah. That's why it's great. Having, having trouble getting it to focus, but. Uh, yeah, Alexandra, that's the emoji for that one. So I'm going to keep going here since that was the other special one I got. So um, you need to get, you need to get a clear glitter one then. Yeah, I don't have one. I haven't pulled one of those yet. All right. Let this is going to be here. disappointing. All right. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Yeah. Big, big money, no whammy. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> so I got four, you know, quote unquote special ones and then four commons so far. All right. Now well, let's see here. Special. Boom. Still no clear glitter. Not a special. Back to you. Back to me. Common. Common. This is kind of going the way I expected it to. Yeah, yeah. I kind of figured I would get a couple more like of the of the crystal ones. Oh, that's another that's a, another venom. Let's see. Okay. Common. 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 Oh, this isn't looking good. Running out of Pez dispensers. All right, last one. Uh, I think this is the second to last one for me. All right. Common. Common. Or no, I have two more at least. Linda has a question. Uh, Linda, you know that's a great question. Great question because there are some pop Pez that I think just look. I will say this. I like the way the boxes are for Pop Pez over regular Pez. I wish regular Pez came in boxes like that as opposed to blister cards because when I first started collecting Pez, I would collect all those Pez on the blister cards, and then after 20 years, all of that paper just rotted off the plastic, and then they were basically useless. So I wish they would put them in a cooler display like the Funko Pop Pez. But like I said earlier to Curtis, there are times where I don't want the pop treatment on a character. I want it to just be like a normal representation of the character. Um, Cause yeah. you know, like, you know, like pops all look basically similar in, in the aspect of the wideness of the head and they all have the same round eyes, you know, whereas, you know, so there are some pop heads that I like way more than some of the traditional pez that I have. Uh, but I think there's room in my collection for those older Pez as well, even though they're not as snazzy mm -hmm. as the the Pop Pez are. But I do like the Pop Pez a lot, and I do support that as well. So, Cool. Um, and Ness had made a statement, but what are your, what's your favorite flavor of Pez candy? Uh, I really like grape and um, either cherry or strawberry. Okay. Yeah. Have you tried any of the – I know we talked about the sugar cookie one earlier. There was, a, I believe, a candy corn-flavored one at Halloween, too. Nope, I didn't try that one. Okay, I think I tried that one, too. It just tasted sweet. Um, <laughs> and they have a, a line of sour Pez. I think I got a sour watermelon Pez. That was actually pretty good. I, I think I tried them once, and, and I'm trying to remember, but I think I liked them, yeah. Yeah. But let's see. So I'm, I have four – Four dispensers left in the box. I think I'm, I've gotten all the the non SpongeBob ones I ordered. So let's just finish this off. Um, yeah, this here is turned around, but it's it's a common. <laughs> Another common. <laughs> this is a big bust. Common. And you're out, right? That was your last one? No, I have two left. Okay, so you do one, I'll do one, and then you do the last one, because i got one left. All right. And I can't see what it is yet. It's turned over in its face. 
<laughs> common. Common. All right. So then I'll do this is my last one. Special. Special. So you didn't get a queer one. Nope. So I got all common and all special. All right. Here's my last one. I have two queer ones, so I'll send you one. Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh. Uh, oh, I thought that was gold for a minute. I got all excited. Yeah, yeah. So now I have three of these, so I'll send you one. <laughs> Sweet. How many common SpongeBob's do you have? <laughs> oh, let me let's do a recap. Um, okay, that's two. That's not SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm going to get my computer there so I can. Lay this out and see exactly what I walked away with. I have seven, seven common. I think I have nine total common twins, Bob. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So what can we do with like seventeen common SpongeBob's? Uh, <laughs> throw them in the trash and eat the candy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, um, we could probably give a couple away if anyone's interested. <laughs> but postage, I don't know what postage is going to be on this. So um, yeah, I was going to say we'd probably spend more on postage than they cost. Yeah, postage might be postage might be more than the. Pence dispenser, but um, I'm willing to give away a couple of the pen dispensers. I'm not sure how we'll do it. But we'll just, uh, there we go. <laughs> just throw those aside. Oh, quick try. You know, that's a good idea. He says give them out at Halloween, which is coming up. But um, I'll do at least one set of two. Uh, for me, which was a set of two, uh, a special and a common. What do you want yeah, to do, Tim? Yeah, I can do that as well. Um, I can do two sets of two, actually. Okay. So Hi, I'll David. Do... First time on chat? Welcome. I don't know yeah, where you've so, been, so but I welcome. Do... <laughs> yeah, I can do... Uh... Let me see. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I do this? Why don't I do one full set and then one set of two? So, so we'll do one set of the crystal yellow, crystal gold, and the uh, common. And then we'll do one set of all, all three, including the clear. Oh, nice. Clear guy. That's pretty cool. And then I got one of I got a clear guy put aside for you too, Curtis. Awesome. Thank you. And yeah. I you, did you want a venom, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could trade right. do a straight up straight up swap right. there. <laughs> I'll set a venom aside. Um I only Maybe I'll throw sorry. maybe I'll throw something else in there to make the shipping worth it. Right. Sorry everyone. I only got one poop. One glitter poop. So um a set is at least three. Yes, that. Um, <laughs> so I'll I'll do. I can afford to do two, two sets of two, a common and a and a special. Okay. How's that? It's good to me. All right. So um, I think what we'll do is um, I'll do it on Instagram. I don't have a video set up. You see that, this a, the most stuffed, most oh, I've, stuffed. I've had those. Yeah. I know what huge, we could do. Huge. Those huge, I've huge. had those. Huge. Um, <laughs> me too. <laughs> huge is the huge over here. Why <laughs> you 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 you? G -E. yep. So, are you still um, Tim's collectibles on YouTube, or are you still TM? I think it's TM. I don't even know anymore who, who I am yeah, or what I'm know. doing. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Is> she... 
it should be TM. here. Yeah. I just don't know. I don't have the link to your channel. I was going to do it on your Pez, on your video where you show off all your Pez. Oh, yeah. But I don't have that uh, link candy for your channel. Maybe it'll still pull it up at some time spot. No? Oh, actually, I think that is your channel right there. Let me try this one. Bear with me. wasn't uh, prepared for this. Okay, so there's your channel. And now if I can find your <laughs> video on Pez. If I can find it this way. Not Pez. You know, I was not prepared for this. Maybe I'll just find a random video. But you had like it was like a forty-five minute video or something, right? Hmm. Now I'll just pick a. I'll just pick a random video then of yours. There's one that mentions Pez. Let me see. Oh, wait, now I have more results. Uh, Funko Pop Pez Extravaganza. That's the one. Okay. I got it. You're muted. I didn't know if you know that, but um, let's see. Yeah, that, so was here, an, that, that was the one. Sorry. That was the one. No, you're cool. I just, I didn't hear you. I thought I lost you because uh, I wasn't. Paying attention, I was frantically I searching muted, for your I video. I muted myself because I was eating the Oreo. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's just do this a comment. We're going to do a comment picker on Tim's video, his 40 minute video of showing off his Pez collection. And then we'll just do the hashtag uh, SpongeBob so we know what, uh, what comments are there. Does that work for you? Yeah, that works. We'll do all the we'll do all the winners from that video. So, <laughs> if you want to enter, if you're interested in any of these uh, Pez dispensers that we're giving away, now is your chance. We'll give people a few minutes to enter. So, what do we do in the meantime? I have a few more Pez to show off, though. I mean, yeah, go ahead, man. They're pretty basic, common ones, but it kind of. Shows what I like. Um, I have actually a couple I didn't get to show as well, like three or four, yeah. so I can do Good that too. It. I can find all of them. I'm missing one. Everyone's probably looking at the top of my head right now. I apologize. There it is. So. Oh, and if there's any mods that want to share that link and that hashtag, feel free to paste that in there. Tim, you got the Oreo packs from Wawa, two packs for two fifty. Dave says, "Is that correct?" <laughs> you know it, Dave. You know it, Dave. All right. So you, this is one of my favorite lines: is this is the cereal monsters? These aren't worth a ton, but these were all yeah, ones that I, were yeah. Only available, I think, in they were in mystery boxes from GameStop, and you get yeah, a so, random so one. Weird, yeah, so weird. And then, um, and then they didn't come with candy either. So they are, yeah. they are cool. They're cool collectible because they're different. No candy. I didn't buy mystery boxes. I just waited for a set that was affordable to go up on eBay, and I bought all five of them at once. So there's the yeah, there you go. Money, and then of course. Fruit Brute. And the last one. Chocula. Can't Chocula. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stephen, for sharing that link. And you said you had a few more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll show this one just because it was one of the first older Pez that I ever got, and it's uh, Batman. Too big. Kind of Here, Dave likes Batman. 
Yeah, so this is from, let me see if I can see the year on it. Mm. Can't really see it. <laughs> need a better need a better light to see it, but I think it's from either late seventies or early eighties. But yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. And then uh, I pulled these out because I thought it would just be kind of interesting for people. These are three different versions of Santa Claus through the years. So this one is what they call full body Santa Claus. Okay, right. so, so the whole body is really the Pez dispenser. You can see it has a chip there. Um, I'll take it out. Yeah, so this one is from the... This one's definitely from the 50s, so it's very old. It's very old, and you can tell just by the way it's designed. But they don't make them like this anymore. No, they don't. And it comes out... Awesome. I don't know. Apparently, I have a thing for creepy Santas. I don't know. <laughs> right. But very unique Pez in the way that it operates and the way that it fits in there. Like, very different. And to find these in, in really stellar shape without the crack, for example, with working mm -hmm. springs on the inside is very difficult. Um, in perfect condition, these go for two, 200 to 225. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. And imagine, you know, somebody who found like an unopened case of those in like a storage unit still in the plastic. Jeez. So this, well, I'll do this one next. This one is slightly after that one. Mm -hmm. And this was really one of their first attempts at a Santa Claus Pez right here. Oh, wow. Just very simple. His head is super small, as you can see. Very, very yes. small. The head, the head is actually broken on this one, so that's why I keep it in the bag. And then this is this is slightly later, and this is the beginning of what you see in the Santa Clauses from basically the late '80s all the way through to the mid, early mid 2000s. So 2010s. And now recently, over the last like seven to ten years, they've had like a newer, more cartoony looking Santa Claus. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to see kind of the evolution over the years and of one particular character, you know. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting to see those. Yeah, yeah. So that's all that's it, man. That's all I got. All right. Well, let me see if I can uh, fumble around trying to find a YouTube comment picture now. I'm really prepared for this, everyone. I hope you can, can tell all that that shines through. Um, <laughs> okay, so there's the video. Let's see if there's... Uh, We'll just see how many comments are on that video. No, I'm only seeing three. Well, if there's only three comments, then you got 75% chance of winning. <laughs> or something like that. Well, the thing is, only one comment is from tonight. So, <laughs> I guess not a lot oh, of Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, probably not. Yeah. Let me well, just we'll see. see. Uh, maybe, maybe I got my, my comments turned off again. Yeah. That happened last time. What is it like my channel? Where the hell is the community button? Is it under community? Mm. Uh, under community? I don't know. Uh, good times. Well, 
that may not be a great one for comment. I mean, it's good because you did a live premiere on it. So most of the comments were kept into the chat that was there at the time. Mm -hmm. So there is only a couple of comments after the fact. Oh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, Hell for review nine. Let me see if any of them. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of SpongeBob. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it looks like about nine. All right. So there we go. Yeah. So are you able to approve those? Yeah, I already did. So. Okay. Let me see here. There, now I'm seeing 13 comments. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that on my comments. I, I don't know, it might have been because you had your channel hidden for a while. Yeah, maybe. Or turned off. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jen, Jen Tell. I hope I'm saying that right. John Tell. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, you see two with a hashtag. So Tim approved more. So there should be more of those. I did see that it had that hashtag on there. So we'll give it a few more minutes. Um, so have you, I see you've been in some live streams. You've been on Meet With Me a couple of times. I saw you, I can't remember his channel name. Who was it that you were on with recently talking about Designer Toys? Funko Frenzy. Fr Frenzy. Frenzy. Okay, yeah, Funko Frenzy. Yeah, I always want to say it's Frenzy something, but it, that's the second part. Of it. I did watch that live, anyway, um, but I just couldn't remember his name. Um, are you thinking of doing more videos, or are you just going to hang out for now in live streams and chat? Or uh, you just, yeah. I'm not to put you on the spot. I'm just kind of curious. You've been back for a couple. You made your channel on Hidden a few weeks ago. I'm just wondering how you're feeling about that now that you've done that. Like, <laughs> if you want to come back. Or what's going on there? Well, yeah, I mean, I would like to. Um, I don't know, like I, I, I like to create videos. I just mm -hmm. don't know. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen, or you know, what the topic of the video is going to be per se. It's, you know, basically the simple answer is: Do I miss making videos? Yes, I do. Um, do I miss interacting and talking about collectibles with everybody? Of course. Um, I don't have any right. plans specifically to make videos, but if okay. I get if I get inspired on something, I might you know throw one up one day randomly. And that's a fair know. answer. I was just kind of, and maybe it's not something I should have asked live on the spot, but no, um, I don't mind at all. I don't mind. Yeah, I didn't think you you would mind if I asked that. I was just wondering how you felt, kind of now that you kind of, you you unhid your channel, you kind of brought it back to life, and you've been kind of doing some live streams here and there, so. Just, just kind of seeing how you felt about that. I, so you know what? It's almost like just hitting the pause button. You know what I mean? It's almost like mm -hmm. when you feel like your channel is kind of on a trajectory. It's a little bit out of control. It's kind of like um, it's it's kind of got a mind of its own almost. And yeah. so you know, it's kind of just like just shut it all down, reboot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I just, I feel more in control now. I feel a lot less pressure to do things. I, you know, it's yeah. all, it's all my terms now. If I feel like coming out yeah. with a video, I can do that, you know? Yeah. Or even like, I, I know how you feel. Cause it's, it's kind of how I felt going into this with this tonight. It's like, I, you know, I had to run a mystery box videos I did a couple of weeks ago, but I, I don't feel compelled to just go buy stuff because, oh, I want to make a video. It's just, right, I was going right. to get this stuff anyway. I know you like Pez. I thought it would be a good uh, kind of a common denominator for us to get together and do something. So I agree. Um, I thought it was perfect. And uh, the fact that I got those in the mail today, you know, just yeah. made, it, made it even happened. better. So yeah. It just happened to work out. I have all this Pez now. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I know. I'm surrounded by SpongeBob. And it's like little crazy um yeah but yeah i mean at least i'll get rid of five of these right now right and then i'll, uh, get rid of the I'll have another seven or something like that i have to figure out yeah so all right let me see how many comments are sitting at now and then we can do a draw all right i see 13 uh, we'll give it Couple more minutes if there's anyone that is interested. 
Yeah, I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out a way to display my my vintage Pez, like my really old ones. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'd like to I'd like to hang them up because right now they're just sitting in in a Tupperware in my back room or a Rubbermaid, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, storage, yeah. storage is like a tote. Yeah, um, right. Do you want to? I, I mean, I see that they're in plastic like bags for protection. Is it something you would display just out of the protection like that, or do you want to find I, something? I would do it. In? I would do it. Um, I don't have many that are in, uh, the best condition, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of the ones I got have flaws or in some yeah. cases might even be broken in some cases. Um, but I do have few that are in, like the paint is in really good condition. They're still really old. Like that Popeye, for example, I might mm -hmm. keep that. Plastic. The rubbers, okay. the rubber headed ones, I will I'll probably keep in the plastic just because that rubber tends to dry out. It's kind of that older yeah. style rubber. Um mm -hmm. but no, there's a lot of vintage ones that I definitely have that are cool that I would like to put out on display. But uh I want to figure out something like I did with the Jankies back there hanging on the wall, that black thing there. Oh yeah. Mine um, are just up on the shelf. <laughs> yeah, Over I mean I, I want to make it look clean. Yeah, I just I don't know that I want to get a dedicated case for them. I mean, I I like I like the way that looks, but I I don't know. I just I'm fine with them sitting on the shelf for now. And it's just if I get a dedicated case for them and I have like open spots, I'm gonna to want to fill it with stuff. <laughs> well, the and problem so I, I, the problem I have with those Curtis is that they don't. Um, the rails don't work for those because they don't have the right. thin feet. Yeah, and they don't they don't balance very great. So I would want to have something that has either a cover on it. So if they were to fall forward, it wouldn't fall into the ground. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, or some kind of like like lip on it so that they would be somewhat kind of secure in place. But right, uh, Linda had a question for you. Um, no, I don't. I don't have a cape for the old blue Batman. Um. The only time, so I kind of got like worried. So this is like, Curtis, this is kind of an ongoing thing with this blue Batman cape. So there's an old Batman that looks very similar to this one, except it was a special one that came with a, a cape on it. So it, came, mm -hmm. it was just a cape that kind of came down like that. And uh, the completed version of it is worth a good amount of money, and it's pretty damn rare. Um, but the problem is... Because the common style Batman from that time looked very similar to the special edition one with the cape, people started mm -hmm. to counterfeit the cape. So uh, the cape, be because it was just like a simple piece of vinyl, it wasn't like anything that was hard to counterfeit. So yeah. it was almost, you know, it just got flooded with all these counterfeits. So I think to this day, it's hard to find one that can be considered, you know, legit. Like came with, you know, the dispenser came with that cape. So if you find one that's in package, you know, it'll go for like astronomical amounts. Wow. Do, does Linda, uh, Linda, Linda ask that question? I'd like to know if she, if she has that, that would be interesting to know. Yeah. Mm, awesome. She, said piece. she had a lot of Pez. Uh, um, JJ asked if you, what do you think about can bots? Have you seen the can bots before? I ha no, I haven't. Is that just like a new mini mini or something like that? Um, well, they, um, I think they launched the Kickstarter just today. It's on Kickstarter if you search for can bots, but I know it's a, a company that they make th these uh, figures that are kind of like little figural uh, graffiti, like spray paint cans, and they're all designed with different things on them. I mean, if you go look at the website, you can check them out. But yeah, they do. They had launched a Kickstarter today. Um, I, I did back that one. I thought it was pretty cool looking. So yeah. Um, I would be curious what you think about those two. They even they even have a, like a little rattle noise, like a spray paint can. So I see. Yeah, uh, so I'm looking at them now. This is their first. They usually do, I think, five inch ones. And I think these are their. They're going to do a run of blind boxes. So uh, they're teaming up with like twenty or or more artists and coming out with blind boxes of can bots. Now that's cool. That's something I could get behind. Um, yeah. When I like to get into these new designs. I think 
you know, because I'm a dabbler, you know what I mean? I like to just like, no, that's cool today. I'm going to buy that or that's cool today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy that. Right. Yeah. So this type of thing I like to do because if it's a new product to me, so the design on the can bot is new to me. But however, a lot of the artists that are probably going to be participating on it are probably very similar to the ones participating on, on super plastic and janky. Yeah. Like quick, like oh, quicks sure. and all them. So there might be some mm -hmm. repetition there, but I like to do a case of the a case of the minis was my point when I'm going into a new product, because then it kind of gives you a bunch of different yeah. ones all at once. And you can kind of really, just get a nice feel for for the you know for for the character yeah and that's one of the kickstarter rewards is a, a case of 20 blind boxes and I, I guess they're saying and i think it's 210 and then you get like a, a bonus glow in the dark five inch one and stuff but i think they're saying in that in the kickstarter that a case of 20 blind boxes when they are released the, the first series is going to be 300 dollars. so it's kind of you're getting in on that you can get them for two ten plus. You get a big five and a half inch. I believe so. I think if you look at the re rewards on that one, um, that's really think, a good deal. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, check it. Check that out later. Oh, Linda says no. She uh, it's way out of her budget. She does not have the cape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Linda. That was my deal growing up. I, um, you know, I got into Pez when I was young, and I put it on the shelf for a lot of my adult life until probably a few years ago, but. I never bought any of the expensive ones. I only bought whatever my, my lawn mowing uh, money could buy me. <laughs> right. You know? Right. Yeah. So uh, thanks for pointing that out, JJ, because you, know, you know, you like those designer toys and, and new stuff like that. So that, that is actually something cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out for sure. Um, there's a couple different things. I'm, uh, on Indiegogo that I'm supporting right now. One is called Mar Marmals, M-A-R-M-A-L-S. And it's like, a, okay. it's like a, almost like a DIY kind of, kind of like vinyl toy, but it's, the joints are magnetic on it. So I just oh, thought okay. it was, just thought it was different, interesting. So I got a couple of those coming. I think those are set to ship soon, sometime in the next month and a half. And then, um, there's another company called Makeway on Indiegogo, which is uh, they make these. You know what a Rube Goldberg machine is? Mm -hmm. So they basically make those kind of devices, except magnetic. So you can put them on like your fridge, or you can put them on any kind of magnetic surface. All right. And they and they make like you know eighty five different kind of parts, and you can make these like really elaborate kind of. Uh, I don't know what you call them designs, obstacle courses, right. like little, little marble. So I bought yeah. one of those too on Indiegogo and um, it's still in production. So yeah, yeah I'm I excited to get that stuff later. They're saying the, I think can bots are going to be in January of next year. So, um, but the Kickstarter ends the first week of September. So I think they're going to go mm -hmm. from that and then take the time to produce it based on what they get. I think some of the tiers are limited, but, it didn't seem that all the tiers had a limit to them. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Um, yeah. yeah. Rube Goldberg device, like the game mousetrap. If you ever played mousetrap as a kid, that's, that's an example. Exactly. Of exactly. Rube Goldberg device. So, yeah. um, all right, well let's give some of these SpongeBob's a new home. Cause I'm already tired of looking at them. <laughs> you want to do a drawing here? I'm ready, man. Do it up. All right, so we're still sitting at 13 comments. We are going to look at, uh, let me share this tab before I go crazy here. And, uh, <laughs> hey, Pop sure and some Pops. Hey, how's it going, Brian? Welcome. Um, we're just we're giving, giving away some SpongeBob. Oh. So, Brian, do you want to enter to win? Uh, we're giving away, where did they go? I'll give you a chance real quick if you want to enter. Uh, we're giving away... Oh, well, I'm giving away a common and a special SpongeBob Pez dispenser. I have a couple sets of those um, if you're interested in entering. And Tim has a set of three, including those two and a special one. So, um. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I didn't get the rare one. Yeah. So I don't know if you're interested in entering that, Brian, but um, 
we'll give you a chance if you say you are we'll I'll give you a chance to enter that uh, if not we'll just continue and and draw I saw one gold and I haven't searched in the last probably 24 hours but I saw one gold uh SpongeBob for sale for like 500 bucks on Mercari you know <laughs> It's not even that that rare. It's, there's a thousand of them, you know. I mean, like the the ones that Brian Mariotti gave away at the cons. Those are like limited to what, hundred or something like that, or fifty. I don't even remember. It was stupid. A couple limited. of them. Yeah, yeah. The five hundred. A couple of them. Hundred. Yeah. But yeah, so. those are insane. Yeah, I mean, any of those are going to be so expensive just because they're so limited. There's just not. You, 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 people that collect Pez aren't going to sell those. You know what I mean? So you're never going right. to see, you know, those. Right. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, so we won't keep anyone any later because I know it's pretty late for you there. And I appreciate you hanging out so late with me. Oh, no worries, man. I had a good time. Let's see here. As always. Share screen. That's what I was doing. And we want to do this one, I think. That should be the one. I'll just go back and confirm. Okay, so we had, here's the link to Tim's Pez video. I'm going to leave the hashtag blank. We'll just, I mean, because there's only, what, 13 comments? Yeah, so we'll just look for that hashtag. Um, uh, so this first one, you're doing one set or two? Um, I was going to do one set of three and one, one set, set of two. Okay. That's cool. So, so yeah. uh, two we'll, winners. We'll do the yeah. two winners and I'll do two winners as well. So, uh, we'll do two winners for Tim right now. And let's see what we get here. Oh yeah. How do I do this? Start. <laughs> let's get rid of this ad here. So this will be for a set of three. Zach. Uh, we'll or yeah okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> i didn't know if that's how you wanted to do it but yeah no, that's fine yeah no i don't care either it does okay. not matter all right so zach you got the first one congratulations all right um, zach, hit me up on instagram zach at uh tim's collectibles yeah, I, I, you changed your name again on Instagram. I noticed, so that's cool. You're, you're settling on the name. I think you're yeah, getting yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm chipping away at it. I'm chipping. Away. I'm just glad that Instagram still is, like steers you back, like it doesn't like unsubscribe you from everyone or unfollow well, that's, you. That's just, what I was worried about. That's why I didn't do it at first. Right. All right. So this one, I'll do. Let's do one for me. So this will just be a set of two. Because that's all I got was special and common. Uh, <laughs> so let's do another draw here. Oh, let me be in the right tab. That helps. Well, make so sure we'll you another. keep make sure you keep one special and one common because I'm going to send you the clear one and then you keep all three of them. Right. Yeah, I have what like seven of each at least. So <laughs> I'm good. I'm all set. I'm only yeah, giving away a couple, couple well, sets you of could, two. Well, you could no, You could put one in a protector. Then you could take one out of box. Then you can hang one on the wall. Then you could put one on your front table when people come in. <laughs> put, yeah, put these, it. the packaging on this is just—it screams collect me for years and years. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, all right, let's do another winner. So this will be for me. So the winner of this uh, will contact me on Instagram. Let's say start. And we'll, of course, do no duplicate winners. Just one. Ledger. Hashtag SpongeBob Awesome Collection. I need to show this video to my husband. He collects pets. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a great video, Tim. If people haven't seen that, uh, now's your chance. Because who knows when Tim's going to hide his videos again. This is kind of you a limited run know. engagement. You never know. Like, I just could go like away. like a phantom. I'm like a phantom. You <laughs> are? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do it. What's the next thing for you? You had a set of two of those, right? The special and the common. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. Let me show them again. All right. All right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm still terrible at this. Why, why is this? All right. Here's the common. Oh, Jesus. 
There's the common. It's got bubbles. It's got bubbles on it. All right. And then there's yes. the, uh, the clear one. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Sweet. All right. So let's go back to. That's not what I wanted to do. What is this? All right. Hold on. <laughs> How do I get back to the screen? Is it this? Let's just do this. Huh? People don't need to see us. All right, so let's draw another winner. Yeah, they don't need to see us. Let me see my face. All right, so this is from Tim for the two. Nope, you already won. Sorry. Uh, you can't win both things from Tim. I'm sorry, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> let's pick another winner. Unless you want two of each of those uh, common and special. The Reasonable Gentleman. Congratulations. You know, he's on right. Instagram. You know, I we were having trouble with him. I think he was trying to share the link earlier because I saw his chat, his comments and chat on StreamYard, but they weren't showing up in the YouTube app. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, I tried to reach out to him <laughs> during the live, but... Um, I don't know that he's watching anymore. So sorry about that, uh, TRG. We'll get it sorted out. Uh, and then I have one more set of two that I will give away. So um, let's pick another winner. And I'll, if, if he's still here, because I can't see him in the chat. Um, oh, he's there. It's it's weird. He's not showing up. And I'm, I can't mod him because I can't see him in the chat at all. Yeah, it's I don't see him either. It's not that he's sharing a link and trying, you know, to post links. I I can see him in StreamYard, but his comments are not showing up um, on the YouTube, on the YouTube chat. So I don't know what's going on there. I yeah, am that sorry. Is, that is weird. Yeah. Um, so, but, you know, he won. So he at least he's got that going for him. We'll figure it out sometime. Um, it's just really bizarre. So let's see. Let's do one more for me then. Uh, one more set of two. Candyman Rip. Wow, that's a lot of Pez and awesome review. I think he was one of the original commenters on your video. The hashtag's not there. I'm going to go ahead and redraw. I didn't see Candyman was here tonight anyway. So, unless you did, you recall seeing Candyman? I thought he might have been here. Let me just go go check. Uh, I haven't. I haven't seen him. No. Nah. If he comments, you know, I do have an extra set. If he really, really wants those, so we'll do <laughs> one more. I, I, I have an abundance of SpongeBob. So if we he, were if, looking. If he gets all bent out of shape over SpongeBob, we got. We could take care of. I him got you. Him. If you <laughs> don't worry, I got you. All right, so we'll do another winner. Uh, because we are looking for that hashtag. No, Zach, what demon voodoo did you did you sell your soul to the devil to win all these contests? That's three times. Sorry. I didn't accuse you of being Satan. I apologize. It was just frustrating. Ness, there you go. And Ness won for me last time I gave something away, so I probably still have her address in our recent chat history. So congrats to Ness. <laughs> Well, that was frustrating. Um, let's see. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Back to us. So, yeah, Labjar, Ness, uh, just shoot me a message on Instagram. And Zach and Reasonable Gentleman, reach out to Tim. He is Tim's Collectibles, I believe you just said. Yeah, and if they on were ever follow, following me before, they should still, you know, it'll still be on there. Yeah, so... And TRG, I don't know what's going on. It's really frustrating because I can see you in StreamYard, but not on YouTube. So I don't know. We'll try another another live. Who knows what's going on? <laughs> it's not rigged. Dave, did you really want to win SpongeBob? I can send you some if you really want them. But you know, we'll talk. We'll talk off the air. Um, Dave, you're already getting a Fester Pop. Don't forget. Right. He says no. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want the fester. <laughs> you don't want fester. No, don't, he doesn't want the pez. Oh, you don't want SpongeBob. You want fester, Dave, or no? 
I don't know. Was he around when you showed that off earlier? Yeah, I think so. I think he was. Are you going to clown clownify the that fester? Yeah, I want clownify, him to clownify. That's, that's clownify. a better a better word than clownize. I think. Clown. What about <laughs> clown? What about clownatize? Clownatize. Clownification. Would you say clownize? <laughs> you said clownize earlier. I'm like that doesn't <laughs> sound right. I so I said clown that, I think that was you. I think that was you. No, I didn't I say clown eyes. <laughs> that makes me think of the clown's eyes. It's like creepy. <laughs> Cla- cloud eyes. Yeah. You clown eyes. You're a clown. All right. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, uh, you want to ne- gift your win? Sorry. Uh, Ness wants to gift her win to Linda Knowles. I know Linda is trying to downsize her Pez collection, but if linda approves i would uh i would definitely yeah not golfed i knew what you meant yeah <laughs> linda do you want uh ness is gifting you the spongebob pez do you want them i know you you just said earlier you're trying to downsize your collection uh if not then if you don't want them ness maybe you can pick someone else to gift them to so we'll wait for linda i know there's a, a bit of a delay so we'll see what linda says um, I do not have the Flintstone Pez. I don't know that I've seen those. I have a few older ones. I don't know about the new stuff. All right. No, yeah, I don't. I don't have the Flintstone. I actually got through. I think every Pez dispenser. Um, well, there were. I just kind of quickly showed the Halloween ones and the Christmas ones are in storage, but those are just the seasonal ones. So. Um, uh, Ness, we'll figure it out. I'm not seeing a response from Linda just yet. So, oh, there's B Cob lurking. Uh oh. <laughs> Troubles here. B Cob. Yeah. He might have been here the whole time. Okay, What's so up, Linda B-Cob? says, Thank you very much. That is very nice of you. So, P Cob. P Cob. All right, well, we'll work that out. Linda, um, I think Ness gifted that to you. So I don't know if you follow me, Linda, on Instagram. I apologize for not knowing that off the top of my head. Um, send me a message. It's at Mystery Pop Theater on Instagram. So, um, well, thank you, Linda. Oh, you just, okay, you had friends over. So that's fine. You're allowed to have a social life outside of YouTube. Curtis, can you, uh, can you let, you are, you are. I didn't know this. Um, yes, Tim. Can you let the reasonable gentleman um, just give him my Instagram or whatever? Because you guys talk, right? Yeah, he I, he got my message. He's actually responding to them right now. So cool. I was telling him while you were showing some stuff off. I'm like, I'm trying to show you in the comments, but <laughs> you're not showing up in YouTube. It's just really weird. I've never seen that yeah. before. Yeah, I went over to Streamyard to see what you were talking about. I see. I see what you mean, though. Yeah, because I'm looking at the YouTube chat and but I'm like, I see that message, but it's missing from YouTube. It's just really bizarre. So, and now he's trying to call me. I don't think that was uh, on purpose. So I just declined the call there. Sorry. <laughs> Tried to call me on Instagram. <laughs> so, uh, All right. what do you got? What do you got coming up? Anything good? Uh, no. Thanks for stopping by. No, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> no, I don't. I've eventually got some more Bands for Arms mystery boxes. There is so much Pez on the floor right now. Uh, Bands for Arms mystery boxes coming. Who knows when that'll be. He kind of does his own thing on his own schedule, which is fine because he's the only one doing them. But I did have a series of five videos a couple weeks ago. I I released one every day, Monday through Friday. So um, that was kind of fun to do. I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to be on a uh, live stream tomorrow night, speaking of BCOB. Um, I don't remember what the uh, occasion was for. He told me earlier, but I was uh, trying to get out, sign out of work and stuff. So, is your chat set on live chat? Oh, no, there he is. Jeez, thank you, Quick Draw. Yeah, see, I had dumb. mine. I had mine set on live chat, and I wasn't seeing them. <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay. It's fixed now, uh, reasonable gentleman, and I'm a major moderator, uh, so you should show up now everywhere. So, 
That's why I wasn't seeing anything. I'm stupid. I didn't even notice that was this setting was set to that. So it's on dead chat. <laughs> there he is, wrench life. <laughs> yes, there he is. I felt bad. I'm like, what the hell? I like his customs. He does he does an awesome job. Yeah. Yeah. Um I liked his video today. He reviewed the um Morton Salt Girl, which I happen to have just on the shelf right behind me. So if you want to see a cool review on this pop here. Watch go subscribe to the reasonable gentleman. And I don't know if he saw if he's seen this glitter version too. But he was talking in his video about how cool it would be to have kind of glitter on the uh, salt part of it. So um, I like this one. I keep it out of box just because it's such a unique pop. And it's got like color under the umbrella. It's got this big gigantic base. Yeah, I like it. Can't, it's I like it. glued on there for life. So that would just um, be a that would just be a cool character, even if it wasn't a well known icon. Right. So it's just it's just cool. Just a it's just a cool piece. Yeah, when I saw that was coming out, I'm like, oh no way. You know, it's like an ad you, you see ad icons all the time, you know, or like characters in commercials or mascots that you never connect to them like making a, a figure out of I think that was one of them that caught me off guard. I'm like, oh yeah, Morton Salt Girl, that is an ad icon. So <laughs> But anyway, I'm glad we got that sorted out for a reasonable gentleman. That was making me crazy. So um, I owe you one quick draw. Um, so other than that, no, I don't. I don't think I have. I got that was a tangent, wasn't it? I got off track. I don't have. <laughs> I have the thing tomorrow with Cobb. I'm supposed to. I think at some point do a live stream with Pop Couple to build the NES, the Lego NES that I got, but. We haven't talked about that recently, <laughs> and it's over 2,000 pieces, so I don't know how long of a live stream that would be because there's over 500 pages of instructions. So It would be too long. It would be too would, long. I think it would be Unless it was, long. like, for charity and, like, 24 hours. Yeah. So that I, – I, and the only thing that reminded me was it's sitting right over here uh, in the box still, so – I know you can't go to the bathroom. It. You can't go to the bathroom until you put all two thousand pieces together. That could be the. <laughs> no, I don't like the sound of that at all. Tor <laughs> torture. No, I'm still trying to think of something I can do. I'm trying to push to hit a thousand subs. It's like it's an arbitrary number to me at this point because it's like I'm never going to see a thousand subscribers. I've been sitting in the nine fifties for months now, so. Yeah, um, you'll get there. You get there but eventually. I, I, I know content helps. I know these live streams help add for watch time, but um, I just I wish I could do more of them without having to unbox or open something. So I, I I'm thinking about doing some stuff like that at some point in the future. I know you and I have talked about it. I've talked about it with other people as well, and I'm down for for anything like that. But you know, going live and not necessarily having to show off something that I've, I've paid money for or, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, it's hard. Exactly. It's, it's hard to come up with something original like that, but I like just getting together and talking and interacting with chat and um, it's, it's fun. So I need to, well, I think I this is to... how the, I, I think this is how we get ideas is by just doing it. Mm -hmm. Just, just participating and yeah. you just get ideas eventually, you know, just go live and see what happens. <laughs> yeah exactly right. exactly right well i have kept you long enough it's we are hitting almost two hours here so i i really appreciate you sticking around it was fun uh yeah no cool problem to, cool to see your your older stuff there and thank you chat for sticking it out uh, i know it's late for people on the east coast it's almost midnight so uh let's turn this thing off and let people go and uh People, winners contact us on Instagram if you want from us, and we'll we'll go from there. So, thanks everybody for hanging out, man. Thanks everyone. Have a good night. Yeah, we'll thanks, see you Curtis. next time. See you, right, Tim. See you. See you.